Paul Malfi, and he is a retired from the OAN Fire Department, but uh, what I consider him is he's an instructor's instructor, and, uh, and I already know I've got a good uh, group of uh, people that are coming in, but it's open to all firefighters, all EMS people, uh, and uh, just be here, hear the message, and, uh, and walk away here, and hopefully when you leave the building at that seminar, you will have the courage to be safe. And you will be safer, and yeah. incidentally, uh, there is much less injury in the volunteer than the professional. But again, the professional uh, has a lot more action. <laughs> uh, actually, the reader, it is not. It's surprising really? this last year, the well, statistics of fatalities. Well, that's because the fatalities. professional has a lot more, uh, more yeah. action. Uh, it's almost 50-50. Is it? And uh, there's some of the, the, the biggest causes that they're looking at now is actually uh, uh, heart attacks, uh, you know, physical fitness and stuff is probably the, the, one of the main things. So that's going to be one of the things we're really going to be focusing on uh, in the next couple of you years. See, uh, we'll, you know, really I, I usually jog to the fire scene because I want to get there first, and I'm usually the guy who does the dispatch from Westfield. Mm -hmm. And uh, they say, well, why do you jog? I say, well, because that's the easiest way to get a heart attack. And if I, falled, if I fall with a heart attack on the way to a fire, I get my name on the uh, killed in action uh, statue down in Jamestown, and my wife gets a small pension. No, so you know that's the hard way to do that. <laughs> but really, when you're 70, who cares? You know, at that point, I've seen it all, done it all. We've got a, a couple of minutes left here. I want you guys to take a minute apiece, uninterrupted, and close off. Dave, you're first. Uh, I'm just here to uh, put a plug in for uh, recruitment to the fire departments uh, by easily. Uh, getting forms at either your guidance counselor or your fire chief or over here to the Office of Emergency Services to uh, further your education, two, year, two years in Jamestown Community College uh, and the fire service uh, with five years dedicated service to the fire department, um, you will get paid for that uh, education, it won't cost you a penny. There you go, thank you Dave. And around here, uh, incidentally, I want to highlight again. It's on. They're having a special safety prevention, a safety program here for firefighters and EMT. February twentieth. At what time? At eight o'clock, the doors will open. The program will start directly at nine. Okay. And how long does it last? At about four hours. Uh, we'll have refreshments available. We'll coffee, give you snacks. Tea, juice. Yes, we'll give you snacks. Great. Okay. okay that's February twentieth. Put it on your. What day is that? What day? Is it? It's a Saturday. Saturday. Uh, that that's a very important day for a lot of people. Yeah. I'll try to be over here, but you know okay. I'm going to be here anyway. <laughs> okay. And uh, one, in my closing, if I may read, You're uh, the uh, uh, the recruitment and retention program that Dave has mentioned, uh, we just recently received a uh, video that we will be distributing to the schools. Hopefully, we'll get them out there. And uh, the, it's, it was uh, produced, directed, and. Uh, um, and choreography or whatever uh, by a, a, a local uh, senior, I believe, here at uh, Chautauqua Lake Central School. His name is Thomas Sullivan IV. Uh, congratulations, Tom. You did a fantastic job with this program. Uh, and I've also been advised that uh, this channel here will be able to uh, use it as a, a, a public service announcement and be able to run the entire video at his, in its entirety. And we're going to try to run it today, but instead of that, you've got Reed, myself, and Dave uh, for a while. But uh, look forward to uh, seeing this uh, actually on TV, Tom, and uh, again, thanks a lot. And final words to anybody out there that wants to join the fire department, men or women, please go to your local fire department, uh, get an application, and if you have a hard time know, knowing what your fire department is or who it is, call uh, that number that Dave told you before, 753-4321, ask them, tell them you want to be a volunteer firefighter, and we'll get you involved in all the programs that we talked about. We're out of here. And we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> They're throwing us okay, out there. Okay, great. I great. want to thank you again, Dave and Ron, for showing up. Will you come again sometime? Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's Absolutely. a great cha cha opportunity. Next Saturday, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you're you're going to be over here shortly on a Saturday, and Absolutely. I'll have to yep. drop over. Be good. And maybe you could come down and do a quick Actually, do we, a we, we, I, I, could, I could do a quick walk come in, in and then out. Come on. Come on down. Absolutely. You're invited, both of you. Okay, okay great. Uh, Saturday the 20th, when you're having the big affair here for all of our fire. That sounds great. I want to thank special people. Who wonderful else? Oh, caller, I'm sorry, I apologize. We got another caller, can't get him in. Uh, Chuck Kelsey, I want to thank Devin Taylor, Chris Burt, Chris Ramaker, Mort Flexer, Randy Burt, Roy Harvey, Jeff Zook, and all the people, including Don Zenz, who are helping us out here in the studio. I also want to thank all the callers, all the people out there who are tuned in. Even the people can now catch us live in uh, Fredonia and Silver Creek. And it's just wonderful. Wonderful having you with us. Firefighters, get out there. Young people, hats off to you who are joining the fire department and giving so much to your community. May all that is proud 
and true and noble abide with you. I'm Reed Powers. <laughs>